Hello guys, welcome to drilling-academy.com. For surface rig, after killing the well, it's done. But for subsea, there are a few more things to do. Safely remove gas trapped in the subsea BOP and then displace the entire system above the BOP to kill much other jobs to be done. So let's go subsea guys. Let's get this gas trapped in stack removed. But for surface guys, there's no harm to watch this video. Who knows, maybe one day you end up working with subsea. So after this, this animation here will show you that after the kill mud has reached surface on the choke line, we will need to flush all part of the choke line with the kill mud. However, there might be gas trapped in the subsea BOP. This animation here shows you the case that the well is shooting on the upper annular BOP and we don't proceed to hang up the string on the RAM BOP. We let the string reciprocate through the upper annular. This is actually not recommended because the amount of gas trapped in the stack will be high and the string reciprocation will present more wear and tear to the upper annular BOP. And we will use the choke and kill outlet that is closest to the upper annular. This visualization, this visual only demonstrates the idea only. Look, all right, the purple line is a few much, it pushes gas out of the choke line and we still have some part of the gas trapped in the stack. This is what we're talking about. And now let's take another look at hanging off the drill string on the pipe ramp. All right, so after we shut the welding on the upper annular BOP, we proceed to hang up, hang off the string on the ramp BOP. This is actually highly recommended for floater rigs. We will then use a choke and kill outlet that is closer to the ram BOP that we use to hang off to minimize the size of the gas trap. And we will see it is obvious enough that the size of the gas trap is significantly reduced in comparison with shutting on upper annular BOP. See, this part of gas trap below the ram BOP now is quite small in comparison with the previous side when we use upper annular BOP to shut the welding. All right. So now let's take a look at the calculation. On this example here, we have air gap plus water depth 1000 feet. This equates the riser length. And let's assume two barrels of gas being trapped in the stack. The Q mud now is 12 ppc, the old mud is 10 ppc. The atmospheric pressure is 14.7 psi. So by the Moyer's law, P1, P1 equal P2, V2. So what is P1, V1? P1 is the pressure inside the bubble being trapped in the stack. It requires the hydrostatic pressure of the Q mud in the choke line acting down on it. And V1 is the volume that we think we are given here, two barrels. The question is, what will be the volume of the gas when it reaches surface if the driller just opened the BOP without circulating the gas bubble out in the choke line? Right? By the Boyle's law, we work out here P V2 is the volume when the gas reaches surface. It will equate P1, P1 divided by P2. What is P2? P2 is the pressure of the gas when it reaches surface. When it reaches surface, it is it is equal to the atmospheric pressure, 14.7 psi. So by this equation, we work out hydrostatic pressure of the Q mud in the choke line it is like this, 624 psi. When it reaches, when the gas reaches surface, the pressure will be 14.7 psi. So we take 624 times two divided by 14.7, we will have 85 barrels of gas on surface. We don't want this hydrocarbon gas to go to surface freely, right? It will unload the riser and it will lead to reduction of borehole pressure to below formation pressure, which will invite another kick to the well. The principle is we need to reverse circulate this gas bubble out of the stack via the choke line or kill line, right? And then we displace the all the choke line and kill line to kill mud to maintain overbalance against formation pressure. All right, 
Now, let's examine further. Either you shorten the well on the upper annular BOP or hang off the string on drip pipe. The principle of removing gas in stack is the same. We let mud and Q mud push down the gas. Here in the riser, push down the gas into the choke line. In this example, we use choke line. It is reverse circulated out while we are filling up the riser with Q mud. This way, we will safely dispose this gas and fill in the riser with Q mud at the same time. Right after that, we will displace the Q line and the choke line with Q mud. Right, we will use U tripping effect. How to do that? We will look at it in details later. If your rig has different configuration, the procedure may change, may vary. And if you use RAM DOP to hang off, the procedure is changed, it's different. But the principle is the same. Reverse circulate this gas out into the choke line by, by using the u tripping effect. That is the total method and safe method to remove gas trapped in stack. Okay, step one. Step one here, what do we do? We close the lower pipeline to isolate the well below the BOP. So whatever below the RAM now, the lower pipeline, we are safe. We just worry about whatever is above it, right? The next step is we need to open up the fail safe valves on the Q line. These two lines, this, sorry, these two valves, and we pump glyco down the Q line. See this one? These valves are open. Glyco is being pumped down. Glyco will see what is up to you. Glyco displaces Q mud in the choke line out. So now Q line and choke line are all filled up with glyco or seawater. They have lighter density in compared with the mud in the riser now. So this is the basis for U-tripping effect. The mud will U-trip from riser, pushes the gas now into the choke line out. Step number three, we will now close these two valves on the Q-line, this upper first safe valves on the Q-line, and we open the annular, upper annular BOP. We let mud U-trip now into the choke line. So these two valves are closed now, open the upper annular BOP. The old mud pushes gas out into the choke line while we are filling up the riser with Q mud. Q mud is being filled up on top here. So Q mud keeps pushing old mud out of the choke line. So now choke line and riser both are filled up with Q mud. This is a probably very good YouTube effect. And now the next step is to fill up the Q line with Q mud. We will close the upper annular BOP. All right. And then we will open up the upper F first safe valves on the Q line and we pump Q mud down the Q line. We take returns up on the choke line. So now close upper annular BOP, open up first upper first safe valves on the Q line, pump down Q mud on Q line. Take return up on the choke line. Right, this is easy to follow through, right? Follow up. So now Q line and choke lines are, and riser are all filled up, displaced with Q mud and gas is out. And this part, this short part of the Q line, is still filled up with the, the old mud, the original mud. So it's up to you. If you like, you can go ahead and displace this part of the Q line to Q mud. Or you can leave it because it is short. It depends on your stack configuration. In this example, we continue to displace this short part with Q. But what we're going to do is we will open up these two lower fair safe valves on Q line. We close the upper fair safe valves on the Q line. Close the fair safe valve on the choke line. We will pump down the string, pump Q mud down the string, and we take the return up onto the Q line. Okay, that's what we will do here. See these two valves, two lower valves are open, upper valves are closed, upper valves here on the choke lines are closed. 
All right, we pump up, see, now QLI is filled up with QMUD. So that's it. Now the whole system is all filled up with QMUD and that is safely removed. And now what we need to do is we need to open up the lower pipe ram here to check if any pressure is trapped below it or not. Open it up, all right. Q line here to check pressure. There should be no pressure here because Q one is all the way around the whole system from top to bottom in the Q lines in the choke line. So it's just safe to open the well. All right. Now note that in the new rigs, they may equip an additional line just right below the lower annular BOP here. Right, this line here is not used to kill the well. It has the ID smaller than the ID of the choke and kill line is about one three quarter inch. And it is dedicatedly used for removing gas trapped in this stack. All right, thank you very much, guys. I hope that you guys did get some useful information out of this video. And please feel free to address your concern, your queries or questions to my email address at lichlochtron01 at yahoo.com.sg. Thank you and see you soon in next video. Bye.